Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff Steve Likes, and today I've got uh, something that's pretty cool. I think you're going to like this one. Um, this is a new watch that I picked up, and as you can see from the box, this is a Seiko. And of course, Seiko is one of the most famous watch companies in the world. Uh, there's obviously watch companies that are much more expensive and all that, but as far as uh, you know, brand recognition, they're one of the best, and of course they're uh, they're in the electronics industry as a whole. I even have a metronome uh, made by Seiko, so they've they've done a lot of different things, but for sure their watches are their uh, are their most uh, uh, famous industry that they're involved with. Uh, this is a watch that I had seen at Costco. My wife and I are a member of Costco and I walked in one day and I was like wow I was fully expecting to see nothing but uh, kind of generic quartz watches on this display and there's this beautiful Seiko kind of field watch you know it's kind of a military type field watch and I just I, I had to take a look at it so I had the guy unlock it and was just really impressed with this watch so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box I just wanted to show the box because it has a really nice, uh, really nice look to it, uh, kind of a textured, uh, textured look to it. Um, I will say this is not the original strap. I have changed the strap since, but this is the watch right here. Check this baby out. This is the Seiko SRP 715. It is 43 and a half millimeters so actually a really uh, pretty good sized watch you know considering it's a field watch and uh, just look at the look at the numbers on it it's so easy to read and it has the uh, you know it has the 1 through 12 and then it has the 24 hour indicator too so um, that's what kind of sets it uh, apart as a field watch is the fact that it has the uh, the large um, numerals on it and then also you have the 24 hours on it so um, we're straight up three o'clock so it's it's going to be difficult to see but it does have a day and a date on it and uh, you know that's a really nice complication to have on any watch especially a mechanical watch because a lot of mechanical watches just have the date even my more expensive mechanical watch has just the date on it so kind of nice to have the day and the date but um, man, what a beautiful, what a beautiful, classy-looking watch! Really, really nice. It's a domed hardlex crystal, and you know it's not sapphire crystal like my M Force is, my Orient M Force. But I've actually been pretty impressed with this. I mean, I don't baby my watches, and I have not scratched this yet. But um, nice polishing on the case. The bezel is just for looks, so if there's any downside to the watch, the bezel does not turn, but honestly, if I want to use that feature, I'm going to wear my diver's watch anyway. But nice polishing on the case, and uh, just just overall, a very classy looking watch. You know, it's it's got that kind of rugged field watch look to it, but um, I think it would dress up well too. You know, you could wear it with a, you know, with a nice button-up shirt or you know, sport coat or anything like that, then it wouldn't be out of place. Uh, the hands have the Seiko Super Luminova, and let me just tell you, this thing really glows nicely in the dark, and then all night long, uh, you know, I wake up at 6 a.m., I can still tell what time it is. Very, very nice loom. Uh, it's on par with my Orient, it's on par with my Citizen watch, um, I wouldn't say it's better than those two, but it's on par with those, which those are both excellent loomed watches. So um, it's on, you know, it's on the same uh, same playing field as those two watches as far as the loom goes. Some people say Super Luminova is the best. I don't agree with that. I think it's great, but there's other watches that have amazing loom too. So uh, this one definitely uh, is up there, though. I mean, you can you can see it all night long and I've never had any issue charging it. Um, I usually, just from being outside, it's plenty charged and uh, it's just really easy to see at night. Uh, another thing I really like about this is look at the second hand. It's not loomed here, 
but you see how it has the white tip on it and that just really sets it off and it makes it easy to read. Then the rest of the second hand is black so you can't see it against the case or against the face there but then the counterbalance is loomed so that's really neat. Uh, that's a really neat feature. Okay, um, It is 100 meters water resistant. It is not a screw down crown. It is not a signed crown but uh, the crown is nice and large though and so um, it's really easy to wind. This is the uh, Seiko 4R36 movement. It is hand winding so you can wind the watch and it is hacking so when you pull out the crown you can see the second hand stops. Push it back in, starts up again. So uh, let me just show you the movement here. I'm going to actually move this box out of the way and uh, let me take this strap off. This is a this is an aftermarket NATO strap. I just feel like this military green really looks great on this watch against that I mean I don't know you tell me. I just think that military green looks really nice against that black face. This is the original band here which is kind of a faux crocodile strap and if you were using this as a dress watch you can see how that would look on there. I mean, it looks decent, but I prefer this NATO strap. Okay, and here's a shot of the movement. Right there. So it's the 4R36 movement. And uh, display case back, which I really like. And just, uh, you know, just even nicely polished under here, too. So they did a great job with this watch. But, yeah, the 4R36 is... Uh, an exceptional movement. You find it in a lot of their watches. The Baby Tuna, the Monster, a lot of those watches have the uh, 4R36 movement. And, uh, you know, this is even a nicer movement than the one that comes in the famous, even more famous than this, the Seiko SKX. Because that one is not hand winding and it is not hacking. So really, for the money, um, you can find this anywhere from you know, $165, that's what I paid for it at Costco, up to about $200, you know, considering you get the hand winding and hacking movement in a beautiful case, really nice dial. I think this is, I think this is a steal of a deal on this watch. And the, again, the band that came with it is this one here. I've also borrowed a couple of straps from a friend of mine these are uh, Barton straps, and these are the ones that have the quick release on them. You see this little guy here? That's a quick release. It allows you to change the strap really quickly. And I've been uh, kind of sporting this one with it, and that's kind of that uh, uh, kind of that tan against the black. Looks really nice. And then also um, this uh, this kind of uh, salmon colored silicone strap, which is really nice too. So. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to hang on to these straps or not. He's kindly letting me borrow them, uh, but I'm I'm on the fence about those because I like this NATO so much. And you know, you can let me know what you think about that. But um, I will say, what was really bad about this watch when I bought it was that the accuracy was terrible. Whoever did the adjustment on the time, uh, you know, the timing on the watch did a poor, poor, poor job. I mean, absolutely terrible. It was running minutes slow a day, and I mean minutes slow a day, like it was not regulated at all. Um, I will say, though, that I, you know, I almost returned it for that, but I said, you know what, Costco has a great return policy. I'm going to try to regulate it myself. If I can't get it on time, then I'll go ahead and return it. Well, after a couple of days, this thing is running within a couple of seconds a day. And if any of you know anything about mechanical watches, if you can get it even within, you know, five seconds a day, you're doing really well. But the accuracy has been exceptional. It has kept time. And um, the cool thing about the hand winding movement is that even if I'm wearing my Orient or uh, my Citizen or something like that, every morning I can just walk up to this, you know, give it a couple of winds on the crown and I'm good and I don't have to keep resetting the time every time I pick it up. 
And uh, I understand now what people say when people say you should get a watch with a hand winding movement, why they're saying that. Because it is so much easier just to every day give it a couple of winds and then you don't have to reset your watches all the time. Now, um, in the box with it uh, came this, the Certificate of Limited Warranty. And it's got uh, kind of some details on the back. I guess you're supposed to write the watch number and case number and all that on there. Comes with the little tag. You can see reference number SRP 715 325 dollars suggested retail. Again, I paid 165 at Costco. Water resist 100 meter, automatic hardlex crystal, see through case back, Lumabrite hands and markers. You know what? I said Super Luminova, didn't I? I'm sorry. This is Lumabrite. My bad. Thanks, Tag, for calling me out. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So, Lumabrite. There it is. Gosh. Anyway, I'm so well prepared for this video. Uh, here we go. So, Seiko limited warranty and instructions. It just talks about the hand winding and everything. And then they give you this one too. I guess this one is for all their different calibers here. 4R35, 36, 37, 8, and 9. You know, it just talks about, you know, how you change the date and everything. So, nice little books. I always like to read through my booklets and everything. And, uh, and uh, you know, kind of make sure I know exactly how to operate the watch. And uh, yeah, I've just been really impressed with it. Uh, let me give you a wrist shot here. I'm going to put it on my wrist. And you're just going to see how sweet this baby looks. I'm so glad. This was actually only a Japanese release um, for a couple of years, but they have started uh, sending them to Seiko USA, which is great because I just, I love this style of watch. It's almost like a, a, a Seiko's version of a Hamilton or something, as far as that field watch look. But here it is on the wrist. Great size, perfect size for my wrist. And I think for most guys' wrists, I think this would be perfect. But, uh, you know, just, it doesn't sit too high. But just about right. And then, uh, you know, the, the 33 and a half, or excuse me, the 43.5 millimeter case is, uh, is I think, just about right. You know, my diver's watch, my Orient is a, is a 46, which is a little bit bigger than this. And then I have a Citizen that's a 44. And then I have a smaller Orient that's a 38. So this one falls kind of right in the middle of those but I just think it's a really exceptional looking piece. It keeps great time, and uh, I finally have myself a Seiko, and I'm really happy with it. It's my second favorite watch. My favorite watch is my Orient M-Force Bravo, just because I think the diver's watch is, uh, is the coolest watch out there, and uh, that kind of look with the rotating bezel and everything. But um, this one is definitely number two on my list and uh, actually because I just got it I've actually been wearing it more than the than the M force but take it back off and then wrap this up so my thoughts on this guy is that it's a beautiful watch and I really think that for the money for 165 the fact that you get the hand winding hacking movement uh, great size, classy look, and the fact that it's just so easy to read, um, it makes it a great everyday watch. So if you're looking for kind of an EDC watch, I think that this one would definitely fit the bill for a lot of different people out there. And, um, you know, it's kind of kind of pays homage to the uh, military styling, but definitely has a nice touch of class as well. So that's the Seiko SRP715. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is not too long. Uh, whoop, we're just about 15 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up. But you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.